Hey yo, what is up guys? Daniel's Prime Time back, and today we're going to be starting a new journey here in the Unova region for Vol Pokemon Volt White 2 Nuzlocke. So, as you guys, new series dropping today, and you know, I'm going to do a update video on the channel a few days after this video drops, but maybe a day after, I don't even know. Uh, I have the thumbnail ready. And I'm actually excited to start this because why not? I'm excited to start every new region I start, which is like pretty much every week. Um, I'm sticking to this one. Proof is there's going to be some sad news or somewhat if, uh, you know, you actually enjoyed the series. But I'm not going to spoil because I kind of want you to watch it. But anyways, we're going to talk to Bianca here. And I just skipped all the boring part you had to miss because, you know... No one wants to hear you customizing your character or anything. I just named myself Danny, and I named my rival Life because, you know, life is honestly challenging, and especially during these times, as I'm recording this, it's life is honestly generally challenging. Um, everything going on in the world, you know. Uh, anyways, let's go back to the Pokemon world, the Unova region, where we're actually picking our partner here. And I actually chose Tepig, or not yet, but I am going to choose Tepig only because he is really cool. Well, not only because, um, well, generally, he is a really cool Pokemon. Embor, firefighting, strong against the first gym, uh, very good dual type, fire and fighting. So, yeah, we're going to go with him. And uh, my cousin, actually... Pokebirds Gaming actually suggested him to me, and I was like, hey, why not? Um, I don't really have any of mine. I mean, the all the Unovest starters are really cool in general, so why not pick Tepig with uh, the type advantage against a few gyms? Uh, the Bug Gym, too, he has an advantage. I don't know if there's any other ones. I just kind of forgot, but we're going to name Tepig uh, Firebolt. Uh, I just had F because fire's something, like fire. Fire Punch, but that's already a move. So why not Fire Bolt? Fire Bolt's a cool name because it's like kind of Thunderbolt, but with fire. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Anyways, like I said, uh, new important announcement video coming up in the near future. Uh, I have some crazy uh announcements to make in that video, like new series, which is this, a collab. And possibly other games I will be playing besides just Pokemon. Even though, you know, I my channel mostly now revolves around Pokemon. Because I used to play a lot of Minecraft and Roblox, if you guys didn't know. Uh, if you're new here, like I said, I used to play a lot of Minecraft and Roblox. Uh, live stream, like any video I would not record. Like I edit this, I would live stream. So uh, I, I was pretty young too. When I started, so that probably explains why. Anyways, uh, I don't even know what she's talking about because, you know, I'm just focused on really what's not what's going on. But like, um, just trying to get through all this because this is a lot of text. And what I kind of hate about the simulator is when you're trying to speed up or turbo mode, whatever you call it, fast forward. It always kind of like glitches the game, which kind of makes it like annoying. And you guys probably think, oh, this guy's uh, setup is trash, but no, it's not, it's pretty smooth, honestly. The gameplay, like you could see here, um, when I'm not speeding up, it's the gameplay is pretty smooth. I actually use the emulator Desume. Uh, I was trying to use No Cash GBA, which I've used in the past, but this ROM doesn't work on it. I don't know why. Um, probably because it's black too, or something uh, that has to do with the game or. Whatever. Anyways, she's giving him a Pokedex for no reason. Not that I understand of. But really, I don't know why she's giving him one. So let's go down here. I think um, I'll trigger a battle between us. And hopefully we win. Um, but while that, I'll actually say the Nuzlocke rules. So um, number one is uh, we have to catch the first Pokemon we encounter in a route. And if we don't, we can't catch any Pokemon for the rest of the route. Number two is, uh, revives are prohibited 
Max revives anything that brings Pokemon back from the dead, because if a Pokemon faints, it is technically counted as it dying officially. And number three, the Nuzlocke technically officially starts once we obtain Pokeballs. And funny thing is, I actually had to record this video twice, so I had to like reset the game and everything. And because I don't know why, but the data from the last video that is pretty much this, it just got lost, not lost, but it just deleted itself. And I was like, come on, man, like that that's 30 minutes right there. And uh, yeah, that I was kind of mad, so I just recorded it after. And funny thing is, Bianca gave me 30 Pokeballs. That's right, not 5, not 10, not 15, not 20. 30, like they're usually supposed to give you something somewhere around 5 to 10. The fact they gave you 30 is like crazy because um, I, I just don't remember in any game of them they giving you 30 Pokeballs. So we're in the battle here. I'm just spamming tackle because that's pretty much our only move. And I just went with the tail whip just to, uh, you know, lower his defense. So it uh, somewhat increases our chances of winning. So, yeah, that's pretty much all announcements to make um, for this series. And, yeah, um, I also have a second channel, but I'll probably talk about that in my important announcement video. Uh, so, yeah, second channel. Uh, I probably won't be posting there as much as I post here because, you know, this channel is my main priority. I really try my hardest. While making these videos, you know, editing it, I don't pay anyone to make the thumbnails, the layouts I use, um, or to edit the videos, you know, it's all made by me, so yeah. If you want me to make you a layout, hit me up on Discord, you know. I'm a really nice person, I make uh, logos and whatever for people if you want me to. So I'm pretty sure on my channel banner it shows, but that's some advertising there. Anyways. Firebolt is level 6. We have successfully defeated Hugh or Life, sorry. And we actually got to 3 health, which is kind of interesting. And I've been talking way too much about not Pokemon. But yeah. Um, cool, I'm heading off first. Get stronger. Uh, I, I think he should get stronger, only for the fact that we defeated him. Not that he defeated us. Bianca, the Pokemon on both sides did their best. But this little one is still weak. Alright, let's go make your Pokemon better at the Pokemon Center. It's like the best place ever for Pokemon who battle and get hurt. So, I'm guessing this is the tour part of the game. Where they, like, teach you stuff. But I've been to, like, every other region. So, I honestly don't need a tour. Thank you, though, Bianca. You're very nice. She gives us a starter. I mean, I think she was required to do that by Professor Juniper, but... At the same time, she's she's giving us a tour, and I am pa you know I paused the game and did the tour, so you guys wouldn't have to see that boring stuff. Honestly, that took like ten minutes, but yeah, that was very long and unnecessary for you guys to view. So we also got running shoes, and yeah, hopefully we don't die or anything. We got firebolt here, and I'm eating some breath mints. I don't need. I don't think you guys needed to know that. But this person's here. Hey, Danny, you can't go without... Oh, you're with Tepic. Okay, this is a good... A bike? This early? What? Before the first gym? What? Ah. Oh. Also, uh, if you guys are wondering why my screen doesn't properly fit on the layout, it's because... I don't know why, but the editor I use is Camtasia 9. No flex, uh, but yeah, it's, it, I don't know why, but it's kind of dumb how, like, it just adjusts it for you, but I want to adjust it myself, so it's kind of dumb. Anyways, hey, Danny, this kind of reminds me of that day on Route 1. Oh, here's how it works. And this is just talking about how to catch a Pokemon, etc. Like I said, I've been through all the regions. I've played pretty much every game, except... Uh, I've played Omega Ruby at friend's house, and I guess she's encountering a Pokemon here. And it's a Purloin. So you could see how the game is smooth. A few frames off, but, you know, it's pretty smooth, pretty smooth. Uh, she sends out a Lillipup. So yeah, 
I've played every official Pokemon game. Red, blue, yellow, all on emulators, you know. Uh, uh, I've played, yeah, yellow, I actually kind of went through. Uh, Fire Red, you guys know I had a series, barely even, uh, finished it. But, uh, that's gonna be in the important announcement video I keep on mentioning throughout this video because of how important it is to this channel. So, it's not gonna be that long, it's gonna be, uh, just listing a few things that's going to be happening in this channel. And, um, so, she's still teaching us how to catch this Pokemon. Not that exciting, but, um, we actually did get the 30 Pokeballs already. Uh, when she, when we were in the Pokemon Center. So right after this, hopefully we get a really cool encounter. Uh, when I recorded it last time, I actually encountered a Bidoof. So if we can counter an a Bidoof, that would be really sick. Anyways, one, two, three, and she probably caught it because every Pokemon thing that teaches you how to catch Pokemon, actually, no, don't miss and catch the Pokemon. Imagine if it was an RCS. Oh, how that would be crazy. But, she finished catching it, so that means, um, you know, what a relief. I caught a Pokemon. Oh, I'll go right over. Pokemon catching need to, ah, whatever. Anyways, making it feel, uh, she's, she's saying the, how if you weaken it, the chances of catching it is higher. So, by now, meet a lot of the Pokemon and catch them, okay? Alright, thank you, Bianca, for uh, giving us a starter, teaching us how to catch a Pokemon, and whatever else you did. Give me the tour, pretty nice. Anyways, let's go in, encounter our Pokemon, and it is going to be a... Uh, I'm still running through the wild. Okay, okay. We got one. We got one, boys. And it's a purloin. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Come on, man. Why, why couldn't I have gotten the Bidoof instead? I mean, I want Pokemon that are not native to Unova in some way. Because, like, you know, this is a ROM hack where I'm supposed to get different Pokemon, quote-unquote. Rather than, you know, just the regular Route 1 encounters. But, you know, this... This still has mostly the same Pokemon encounters and storyline. Uh, it's just more challenging. That's why I made it a Nuzlocke, because I thought it would be a little bit more interesting to see if I can actually defeat it as a Nuzlocke. And I've seen this YouTuber named A-Drive do it, but I've actually researched that after I came up with the idea. Not that he was the first one to originally make that, but I actually had an idea in my mind. I was like... Why not play one of those, you know, Blaze Black Volt White games? Um, and, you know, I researched a little bit on it. I downloaded the ROM, everything. And uh, I hope we're going to use another tackle. And, uh, yeah, I downloaded it. I played it on Dezume, and it's not that good. But, you know, for you guys, I'm, you know, here grinding 40 uh, an hour. It takes very long to do all of this, you know, setting up the layout and everything. Anyways, I think now is the proper time to catch this purloin. Can we catch it? Let's go in with our 30 Pokeballs. And you can see here, 30. I did not buy anything, not gonna lie. Um, if you guys think I did, I didn't. She just straight up gave me 30 Pokeballs in the flesh. Kind of crazy, not gonna lie. So... Um, there's nothing really else to say. Hopefully we catch it. I speed it up, and did we catch it? We did! Let's go! Not that excited, but, you know, we caught a purloin. So, purloin was caught. So, for the nickname, I actually don't really have an idea for one. I don't know what to name a cat. Maybe Meowth or something. What about Dark Fang? Eh, no, sounds too much like a vampire name. Actually, I'm looking at my, my wallpaper here. It's Pokemon themed, by the way, because I love Pokemon. And I am going to name it Mudkip. Because I see a Mudkip, and why not name my purloin Mudkip? Mudkip's cute. And, um, yeah, why not Mudkip? 
And if we ever catch a mudkip, we'll name our Porloin, which we probably won't. But, you know, if we ever do. So we got our bike, and we're just cruising through this route. Um, let's see here. Oh, uh, you there, trainer. And this, my name's Alder. Whoa, th if this guy actually jumps. like, Oh, oh, he jumped. Didn't even, like, show him jumping. I just saw him, like, kind of just falling down. Anyways, why? I think he's smelling us. It's kind of weird. Why are you smelling this guy? I think he's future blue. He says, smell you later or something. Anyways, he tells him to go to this Flockacy town next to us. And, yeah, Flockacy town. And it's winter. That's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, we're next to a Pokemon Center, so that's going to be handy if we ever need to go into one. So, my house is just a little further. Uh, i not even reading it. I've played through Black 2 before and White, so... Thank you, though. I've I've played through the games more than once, I think. I don't remember. I think I've played Black 2, like, t once or twice. I don't know. Probably something like that. Uh, He's saying to deliver the town map that his mom gave me when, you know, I paused the video and went to do all that boring nonsense with Bianca. Um, so let's go here. Into Route 20 or 21, yeah. Oh, oh, our first mandatory trainer battle. Second one, because technically the rival battle counts first. So, you can't tell how much I, I'm... I'm speeding up this game. I can't read anything. Too cool for school, man. Anyways, what's his name? Youngster Terrell. Youngster Terrell. Is he wearing a tank top? And it's winter, jeez. How is this person wearing a tank top in winter? Uh, well, you know, uh, some things are just, you just don't know. Anyways, if we lose this battle, boys, I don't even know. Let's go with the tackle. Firebolt, you can do this, boys. You can do this. And pretty much Firebolt is our only chance of winning this battle because, you know, he's Firebolt. And oh my god. God, jeez, he crits? That is some unluck there. Oh, do we have any potions they gave us? Nope. Oh, did they switch the potions with the Pokeballs? I'm just kidding. Like, I, I meant to say something like, you know, since they gave us 30 Pokeballs, they didn't give us any potions. It's kind of dumb, though. Like, come on, man. We're gonna die here, and... You know, boys, if we lose, it doesn't count, because why not? I want to make everything unfair and win this Nuzlocke. So, if they die, they probably will. Fireball just died. Nope, he's still on the team. Just debated you. So, the deaths is still going to stay the same. Zero and zero badges, because, you know, we're probably not going to complete this game. But, let's go in with Mudkip. Let's see if she is any good. So it's going with the scratch, and she'll probably take him down, or take her down in one hit. Actually, no, she didn't. Okay, not bad. I see you, I see you, Mudkip. Trying your best. Uh, we got her to red health. Not bad. If you hear, uh, very loud noises, uh, that's like my siblings watching YouTube videos. Kind of annoying, but you probably don't because my mic's terrible, and, uh, I, I don't know what I just said. Anyways, Mudkip's defense fell. Mudkip lets you scratch. No! One HP. We better not lose this, Mudkip. Come on, you can do this. And he goes with the leer. Yes, let's go, Mudkip. You can do this. If you miss, I hate you. Let's go, let's go. Mudkip's defense fell. Mudkip, you scratch. Let's go, you can do this. Yeah, let's go. What? Oh, all right. He fainted. <sighs> sigh. Good sigh. Alright. 116 HP and Mudkip is level 5. Congrats, Mudkip. You are definitely carrying this team. Let's go here. Level 5. You learn Thief. I don't know if that does anything. Probably just steals an item from the Pokemon. So, uh... Uh, he has a Zigzagoon. Okay, okay. 
bad a zigzagoon is a hoenn pokemon so that means it probably exclusive to this game only and blaze black of course too so um hopefully okay use leer that's definite um or attack fell so used growl so that's a definite we're dead because that just makes our whole stats worse than what it already is from being a level five and a purloin which i don't really like purloin but if you guys haven't actually seen black two not black two but um in my opinion the unova pokemon are somewhat of a ripoff of the kanto pokemon like if you think about it I don't know. They haven't had some uh, kind of a healing Pokemon since Chansey. And I don't know is pretty much the healing Pokemon. And we just died. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, uh, I'm going to go train the Pokemon. And, yeah. Alright, boys. I trained um, the Pokemon here. And Firebolt is level 7. That was like... 10 minutes, not 10, like 30, I was lying, I was like 30 minutes, so we're gonna rebattle him now, and yeah, you can't tell how much he's saying the same thing, anyways, Firebolt did learn Ember, which is really good, because that's gonna be his, like, sweeping move now, and it, the move, the, the video's already at the 21 minute mark, so that's, that's pretty far, like, if you guys are watching up to this point, thank you very much, um, I'm bleeding. I don't know how. I, I, my knuckle just started bleeding. That kind of sucks. Alright, go Firebolt. Still playing Pokemon. Nothing's gonna stop me from winning this battle. Getting revenge on this Petrat. Alright, Firebolt, level 7. Let's go with Ember. I did not use no rare candies. You guys probably think I did. But no, I didn't. Alright, let's go. Uh, he used Tackle. Not bad, not bad. Um, hopefully it does like 1 damage, 2 damage. And it did. Okay, okay. Did a crit again? Jeez. Does Petrat like... Anyways, like I was saying before, 30 minutes ago, I, I forgot. Something about Unova. Oh yeah. Anyways, like I was saying, the Unova Pokemon are kind of a ripoff of Kanto. Like I was saying, Audino rip off of Chansey, both healing Pokemon, uh, what else, okay, Substrike a rip off of Ponyta, except an electric type, they're both horses, uh, that's pretty much all you need to know that it's a rip off, uh, what else, alright, we got the trade evolutions, we got that one timber kid, I think, Conkelder, I forgot the middle one, but you need to trade that. We got Machamp and Gen 1, both fighting types. Then we got the Rock Trade Evolution, which is that one, uh, I forgot, Rog Gigalith, and then Rogarola, and then I Boldor, something like that. I forgot. We took down the Petra, by the way. Um, but like I said, they got that. And then for the Ghost type, we got Chandelier, or... Yeah, Chandelier. I, I always forget the middle evolution for some reason. Uh, but they got Gengar. We got Chandelier here. And the middle one is Lampent, I believe it is. Okay. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Factors of Unova Pokemon being a ripoff of these. And we got Perlone, of course. Ripoff of Meowth. Uh, we got the State Bird. Region Bird. Regional Bird. Regional Rodent, which is Petrat, if you guys haven't figured that out yet. Uh, we got the Water type. I don't. I forgot what the Water type is in Gen 1. Uh, we got the Annoying Bat. That's something you don't get in every game. I think Zubat's the only Bat Pokemon that's, like, really annoying in caves. Um, the equivalent for that is Swoobat, Woobat, something like that. And we just took him down. Oh, no, we didn't. We need one more hit, but yeah, I just told you how Unova Pokemon are a ripoff of Kanto Pokemon. So, go here, Ember, uh, do we kill it? Yes, we do. Thank you very much. Hopefully, we can get an encounter before the end of this episode, which we already got Purloin, but another one by DJ Khaled. So, 
Firebolt Gang 69 XP. That's how you know things are getting real in here. Uh, he's level 9, and he learned Odor Sleuth. I don't know what that does. I've had it before on a Pokemon, but I just kind of forgot what it does. Anyways, got 96 bucks. And let's go here. Hopefully there isn't another trainer. Uh, how do I take out this bike? It's kind of annoying. Oh, yes. No. Can we avoid this trainer? Nope. No other patch of grass. All right. That's going to suck because I really want to get another encounter by the end of this video. And we're already at 25 minutes. And this is going to take another two, three minutes. It depends on what Pokemon it has. So if it has grass type Pokemon, easy two, three minutes. But if it has, you know, full-grown Petrats and stuff, that's going to be crazy. Anyways, it's last, last Isabel. Okay, last Isabel. Per loin. Um, if I, I told you my sisters are watching YouTube, if you can hear that. Very loud and annoying. I don't even know what they're watching. Um, so, yeah, we got our Firebolt level 8. Level 9. Oh, my God. This Firebolt's a beast. And the reason I'm not using Mudkip is because I don't want to endanger it. It's probably going to die soon because, you know, it's Mudkip. Um, okay, easy two shot. Hopefully it doesn't have... Uh, this is not Randomizer, which I'm, I'm kind of happy it isn't. Uh, we got here, Firebolt, use Ember. Come on. No, Ember. Kill him. Kill him. We killed him. Not kill him. We defeated him. So I don't get demonetized. But I don't even make money from YouTube, so what's the point? Alright, it sends in Pidgey, okay, that's new, that's new, that's uh, Volt White right there, sending in some new Pokemon, and Pidgey, hopefully we encounter that as our bird Pokemon, because you know, Pidgey ah, is really cool, it's pretty cool, pretty cool, um, there, I don't really like Pidove, Pidove's not really my favorite, Unpheasant, and the second one, Tranquil, yeah, that's not really my favorite, uh, I mean, pretty cool, not really cool, but I kind of like Skarmory, pretty sure Skarmory is in this game, I think that's Skyla's Pokemon, uh, I'm bad at remembering a lot of gym leaders Pokemon, but we got Sunkern, easy one shot, come on, come on, Firebolt, if you can one shot this Sunkern, you will be my favorite, but you kind of already are, because, sorry Mudkip, but you, you're just not level 9, and you're just not too cool. Anyways, if we can level up, we probably will. Um, Alright, Sun Kern fainted. Let's go. Easy one shot. Gain 35 experience, and we are level 10. Let's go. Level 10. Do we get any new moves? Probably not. Nope. And we defeated Last Isabel. I think that's our last move until Arm Thrust at level, 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 level 17. Said level twice. And we... Finally get our encounter, so let's go in this grass. Hopefully Okay, what's this Pokemon list I pressed on? Right, hopefully we don't trigger another Pokemon battle because it's already at 29 minutes This video or 28 minutes and it's just too crazy All right, I'm trying to disable the spike because it's kind of getting annoying at this point But if we can't you know, I don't really care. So let's go with our potion um Let's heal up our Pokemon, because that is something we need to do. So let's heal up Tepig. Oh, okay. Oh, he doesn't even get fully restored anymore from a potion. Congratulations, Tepig. Uh, let's go here. Encounter our Pokemon. And we don't get anything. Okay, okay. Um, uh, Why did I press that? Oh, oh my god. Okay, really annoying. Anyways, let's go here. Get our encounter, and it's a... A... Lotad! Okay, okay, not, not too hard. It's a Hoenn. Probably, I don't remember Lotad being here in Volt White, but that my memory is very bad. So, and it's level 7. Wow. That's, I think, the same level as Mudkip. Jeez, pretty high levels. Alright, I'm speeding up, and the game is lagging, like I said. So, let's two-shot this thing. Hopefully get it to red health. Because this is, I believe, a water type at first, and then something like that. I don't even know. Alright, so, it's... Okay. 
It's um it uses growl, okay, not too not too bad, nothing like water gun, which is good because we don't want him to, you know, kill us. Cause this is now gonna be counted as a permanent death. So uh Ember. Okay, let's go with another one. Hopefully we can go with the third one just to get it to red health. But if uh that doesn't work, then oh uh, Oh, yes, perfect, all right, that kind of looked like a crit, but it wasn't. He goes in with Astonish, and, oh, that hopefully doesn't do anything. That did, like, two damage, and let's throw in that Pokeball to do that. Um, yeah, let's do that. Oh, we reached the 30-minute mark, so please finish this, and one... Oh, no, not yet. All right, it rolls on the ground. Speed this up. One. Two. Three. And did we catch it? Yes, we caught this. We got Lotad. Congratulations, Lotad. You won the lottery of being on our team, if you consider that being a good thing. Anyways, we just enslaved this Lotad. Which is, okay, so it's right off the bat, water and grass, so it's the water weed Pokemon. And we are gonna name this Lotad, uh, let me think. Uh, uh, I wanna name it something Spanish, like Amigo or something, but, oh, let's name it Ah, uh, because I accidentally overpressed the A button. So welcome Ah uh, to the team. It's kind of a weird noise. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh. Actually, one more announcement to make. Thank you again for 200 subscribers. I say that in every video. But, uh, yeah, thank you.